Good evening. I uh, have to thank Ron and Wanda Birch for telling me all about this gathering for the last few years and thank uh, John and Sharon Quinn for inviting me and making me feel so welcome today. Um, this song I wrote decades ago. I uh, was a student at Paul Smith's College and uh, remained there after I was finished with a degree in forestry. And uh, so I knew all about Paul Smith. Uh, the town is named for him. The college is named for him. He built a great, huge hotel, and it was quite successful. And they hosted presidents, and uh, P.T. Barnum, the circus man, was a great guest of, of the Smiths in uh, Paul Smith's New York. But very little is listed in the history books about his wife, Lydia, she was the one with the education. She'd been educated at Emma Willard's Seminary for Girls. And uh, she, she was the business end of things. So while Paul was out front, glad-handing the guests and arranging their guides, uh, Lydia was doing all the back of the house uh, work. So I, I thought she deserved more than just a mere mention as Paul's wife in the history books. When she passed away, and 
no one seems to know what hastened on her dying day. Some folks say it broke her heart to lose her eldest son. Others say she finally felt her battles had Tells us only half of all that had occurred. We read all his accomplishments and very few of hers. Some say that there's a woman behind each successful man. I'll bet she's right beside him, team together. outside of Lake Placid in the Adirondacks um, and from letters from Mary to John is that Mary was equally dedicated to the cause of abolishing slavery. Even though she had nothing to gain, and in fact, she lost, she lost sons to the cause and, and her husband. So um, it was surprising to read Thomas Wentworth Higginson's account of bringing the news of John's trial to the farm in North Elba, and he said that none of the women cried out or showed any regret at joining the cause of abolishing slavery. Indeed, they believed that it was their way of doing God's will. So I wrote this song as a letter so I could give voice to Mary from her perspective, supposing what she would have written to John right after she received that news. November 1st, 1859 Dear John, affectionate husband of mine Mr. Higginson, the newsman came today I regretfully heard what he had to say of the trial your righteousness denied. He formed an escort. I will be there by your side. Before they hang you, we will have time to share our plans to bring you home and one final
All along we knew our plan would have its risk. Still I prayed your fate would not come to this. If you had fallen beside our two brave sons, your words of freedom could not do what they have done. Oliver and Watson made their sacrifice. Harper's Ferry battle had accepted its price. Soldiers for our cause cannot be bought or found. Our sons and daughters by faith are duty bound. We may not see the slaves go Here in North Elba, we women carry on. All are making ready, so I might leave it dawn. Oliver's widow has a fever running wild. I know the future of her unborn child. Sarah and Ellen, it seems are middling well. They did not shrink from the news I had to tell. I know that they will miss your presence in their lives. Your love and faithfulness, them are burning.